this cabin build has been about scrounging stuff, so as much as I wanted to build this thing from the land, we know that didn't happen now. Next one. <laughs> but this one, yeah, I've been scrounging cheap materials. So the wood stove, I think that was 140 bucks. Vermont Casting's really good stove. Uh, the wood, you know, was really, really cheap. Um, so a lot of this stuff I've just been scrounging. So this was leftover scrap from a roofing project. It's a recycled plastic membrane, roofing membrane. I have that underneath those bottom hemlock beams that are down underneath the foundation to stop the moisture from coming up through the bottom. I did that as well as the pine tar. So that's why I wasn't too concerned about the wood rotting on the foundation. Plus that's all set on gravel, right? So not worried about those. But the inside, this section here, I'm doing a stone floor to put the wood stove on it. And for an entranceway, when you step inside the cabin, you step onto stone instead of on the wood, that'll be everywhere else. So this, I'm putting against the wood to protect it from all this gravel that might have some moisture in it, but also to stop any rodents or uh, uh, bugs and stuff from coming in from the outside and getting into this section. So I'm just going to tack this on first and I'll put this 2x4 on. That's another kind of protection to stop the concrete if I use that as a top layer for the stone from being right against the foundation logs. Uh, so this 2x4 will kind of protect that a little bit. Of cement and I've got lots of this clay is that even if that starts to settle I'm gonna move around because I think it's going to be I think it is going to move a little bit that I can just lift that tile up and put some more clay under it and then reset it so happy with that this is the finished floor height so I want this stone uh, floor to be flush with that wood pounds apparently when I looked it up online. Vermont castings. So try to read 
reassemble it here, put the legs back on, see where the legs sit on the stones and see if I need to move the stones around. Otherwise I would have just finished the whole floor first, cemented it in. But I know it's going to shift, so I'd like to get the legs on a decent sized stone to distribute the weight a bit. Easier said than done alone, this big beast. My wife found this on the line on Kijiji like four months ago, so it's yeah, at least four months ago I bought it for $140 built this skid around it and then sled it or wagoned it in down that trail which was hell and I've been working around it for all that time so now I have to try to remember all the parts that, that I've got in a little box around here figure out how to put it back together again it's Ikea without plans not that the plans usually help lots of rust on it but it's surface rust it's sound all the way through throughout. I didn't find any, any weak spots. 